So for context for this video, Mark and I went out to look at a scene. Link is his channel in the description below. We went out to get Bulba. Okay. It's a thing that we do. Hope I mean we did it like my last two weekends off. So like this weekend, the uh, last time I had a weekend off, so like two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago. I don't get weekends off of work. That's why I don't upload. Anyways, that's not important. What is important though is that afterwards I said can we stop at Taco Bell? I'm kind of hungry because I haven't eaten that day or eaten yet, which is surprising. I was eating. I think it's whenever I'm at home I don't eat, but whenever I'm, but I'm at work I'm just constantly eating like eating an apple. Then I got granola bar, then I got a sandwich, then I got you know, then I got like a pie. I'm like, did I, my coworker's like, dog, how are you so skinny still? I'm like, you're asking the wrong person. Anyway, so he said that Taco Bell is one of the worst food establishments there is. Now he may be kind of right, but then we started talking more and we we're like okay so can we agree that this is like s tier and like this is as good as that and then when we both no it came into right now this is a this says 70 plus this i don't if this is really 70 then 70 is not really a, as big of the number when it comes to pictures anyways we're gonna go in order of stuff and of course i live in california there are some places i haven't been to aka white castle whataburger Zach B. Zach's B's? <laughs> Never been to any of these places. So we're gonna go like you know what we have here in California and what you know what what I've had. If, I, if I'd never been, then no, no we have never been category down here. First of all, Arby's. Not debatable. Who likes Arby's? Josh? Is it Josh who likes Arby's? Josh, we have to have a conversation, buddy. <laughs> Arby's isn't that good. Maybe it's just California Arby's. I don't know. I'm just anyways, checkers. Do we have one of those? Oh, I actually had to look this up now. So apparently we have this out here. It's called Rallies. Uh, so that's probably why I haven't heard of the name Checkers. But we have one in Sacramento. I did not notice that. Mm. And, well, then again, I don't go out to Sacramento that often. But I've never been. Now, Jack in the Box? That's an A tier. Okay, hold on. It's an S tier. Now, let me also explain what I'm rating these on. I'm not rating them on, like, burgers to burgers. Or like tacos of tacos. I rate these things as a whole. Now, of course, there are gonna be some restaurants that aren't like big name restaurants, like um, Tito's Tacos. I don't think that's gonna be on here. It's like a, it's a food place in LA. It might be in other places. Maybe CDFG. No, it's not here. Um, but no, as in a whole, because some of these you're gonna see are, aren't like burger places. Some of these are burger places. So it, it, just as a whole. So let me explain Jack in the Box now. 2017 was my prime year of Jack in a Box. Not because me and my friends would go out there, like, we would play Rainbow Six Siege on our PS4s to like 3 a.m. and then Jack in the Box is 24 hours. And so they'll be like, hey, yo, you trying to go to Jack in the Box? I'll be like, bet I'm on my way. And then, you know, we would go, we would go get Jack in a Box at 3 a.m. like we were stoners. Because they had munchy meals. They still had munchy meals, but it's a good deal because, like, I think a curly fries, I think regular fries, two tacos, and like a burger or something. But, anyways. They had this one specific lunchy meal they don't have anymore, which was was it the spicy chicken sandwich? Uh, I don't think a sourdough burger, but a spicy chicken sandwich. Now, Mark has never had this before, and then when I introduce it to him, like to, to it to him, it would be like you know me and him would be on Discord. It would be like 2 a.m. and he's like, "Yo, you want to go get some spicy chicken sandwiches?" And I'm like, "Dog, let's go!" And then, that's like 2018. And then we would, we would just get spicy chicken sandwiches. And we loved it because they're like, you know, it's, it's some two tacos as well, some fries, a drink as well. And it's not very expensive, like five, six bucks maybe. And that's I'm like, that's kind of a good deal. Because, you know, it's 2 a.m. What other place is open? McDonald's? That place is closed at like 11. Anyways, they do not have that anymore. But they do still have munchie meals. And they still have some good ones, like a sourdough burger, some sriracha burger. The tacos are also, I like them at least. Some people might not. I do. I'm giving it an S tier. It's all my opinion as well. I'm just saying that right now. Now, some people will be like, wow, you're really about to put KFC or Popeyes in F, F tier. We don't know yet, but we might see. Anyways, Jimmy John's. Don't we have one in here? I feel like I've had it before. We do have a Jimmy John's. Literally right right, right next to... Not right, right next to... Yeah, okay, this is out right here where I used to have a bank at. Huh. I don't have a bank. I'm not that I'm not fucking rich. Um... So I have had it before. I'll give it like a C tier. It's just a sandwich. Tonic. Now, 
if has anyone ever had Sonic before, let me tell you some stories. First of all, my uncle used to work in the city my mom lives in, okay? I don't live with her no more, but at the time I did. And I had, would have school the next day, and so instead of my mom driving me from that city to where I am now, not, it's not, I say city like we're like an hour out of town. No, it's just like a 20 minute drive. So instead of my mom waking up early, it's earlier than she has to drive me to school in the morning at 6 a.m. I, I used to start like at 7.20, which is dumb. Maybe, I think it started at 7.10. What was the school start time? It was like 7.10 or 7.21, the two. But my uncle's like, uh, no, I could take him. I'm passing by anyway, so I'm on my way home from work. I could take him, you know, to, you know, drop him off in the morning, stuff like that. And we're like, okay, cool. So he picks me and my brother up. And we're driving. And he's like, you guys want to go to Sonic? I'm like, what the hell is Sonic? I've never had it before. So we get there. And, you know, if you've ever been to Sonic, you know that there's not, like, you park... It's like these in the parking lot, and then you push the button, and then you order your food, and then they come out roller skating to you. I don't think they still roller skate to you. They might. Is that a job requirement? Do you walk in an interview, and they throw you some roller skates, and then you're like, yo, let's see if you pass. And then if you fail, it's like cause, because you fall or something, or if you, like, you skate around, ice skater spins, so like the whole 360, and then you get the interview. I don't know how it works. Anyways, I seen that menu, and the first thing I saw was a foot-long chili cheese dog. Now, if you know me, you know I love chili cheese dogs. Wiener Schnitzel is going to be high on this tier if you couldn't tell from that already. But I saw that and I'm like, deal. I need the meat. <laughs> no, but I'm like, I would take one of these. And I ate it and dog, ever since then, whenever I go, I have to get it. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying that's all Sonic has. They have some more stuff. I give them an A tier because, of course, in my opinion, I love them. You know, that's just a simple fact, Okay. I, I went with my coworkers, and uh, not too long ago, I think I was still working morning shifts at, at my current job. This is like so you could tell this was like last year. Is this last year? I don't know. Anyways, it's a tier. Waterburger never been. Actually, yeah, I never been. But I'm gonna give it a C tier because C tier is neutral. Okay, well, C tier is neutral, so it'll be like great, good. All right, neutral, bad. What the shit is this? They've never been. Mark has been to Texas recently because he went with his dad on a trip. Um, he told me Whataburger is really good, and that's coming from someone who lives in California. I'm like, okay, wait, that might be different because people could come from Illinois. I'm not. I'm gonna use someone as an example. I'm like Illinois, and they could be like, yo, In and Out. That's kind of top tier, but it's only because they don't have it out there. So we don't have Whataburger out here, but and it's because it's only in Texas for sure. So no, we going out there, it's like, you know, this this kind of hits. <laughs> but um, fun fact, Josh was in California, not just like, uh, I think last year, two years ago. And he was, I think he was in like San Francisco and he's like, yeah, In-N-Out doesn't deliver. And I was thinking like, Josh, I'm about to call him to work to take you to In-N-Out right now. If you don't get In-N-Out, I swear to God, you have to have it at least once if you're in California. I say it like that, like it's the hypest thing ever. In my opinion, I'm, okay, we'll get to that in a little bit. We get there. It's on the list. Most well, story is he didn't have it. Big rips. Next time he's out California, or next time he is in California, I will buy him it myself. I will drive out to wherever he is, even if he's on a business trip. I'll walk it. I'll kick that door in, in the boardroom and be like, yo, I'm walking in this bitch, and I'll give him in and out, and I'll walk out. I might get arrested in the process, but you know, some things have to be done. I am recording, right? White Castle. I've never been. I heard it's not good, and that the the frozen food that we get like here is better than actually the restaurant. But I don't know. Again, never been. Now IHOP is the other. Is Denny's on here? Denny's has to be on here. I don't see Denny's. I see DQ. Oh my God, is Denny's not on here? Am I just blind? Actually, what's Denny's logo? <laughs> it's right here. I'm dumb as shit. So IHOP. I'm gonna give IHOP a B tier. I'm gonna give IHOP a D tier. It's not the best. Mainly because I eat Denny's. This is uh, Denny's also another thing where it's like me and my friends, we all hang out on like on a Saturday night. And Denny's is 24 hours, right? We would all hang out on like on a Saturday night. We'll have our game nights. And then it would be like 2 a.m. And we're like, yo, they know what sounds kind of good right now. They've like Denny's, I've like bet. And then we'd all go to Denny's. And then that's at 2 a.m. Like some degenerates. Um, 
Is IHOP really not 24 hours? Why? Well, IHOP. IHOP hours are open, close it. Why do they close at 8? Why do they close at 8? Oh, okay, yeah, it's definitely these here. Uh, Papa John's. Isn't Papa John's. Or am I thinking Papa Murphy's? Hold on, I gotta look up the difference real quick. This is the one. I don't think I've had Papa John's. As far as I can remember, I'm thinking of Papa Murphy's. But I don't think I ever have Papa John's, so I'm gonna, we're gonna put that down there and never been. Now, Panda Express. It's good. I'm gonna give it a, a B tier. Because if I had options like Jack in the Box or Sonic, I'll definitely take those over. Because, first of all, Jack, Panda Express, I'm, I say it's expensive. <laughs> Fun fact. I, whenever I say something's expensive, it's not that I can't afford it. It's more that, why am I paying this much for this when I can get something else that's better than this? You put it like that, okay? It's basically, like, it's, it's kind of expensive. And the food's not the greatest. It's good. But if I rather have Sonic, I rather have Panda Express. I rather have Sonic, I rather have Jack in a Box, I rather have Burger King, I rather have no I rather have a bunch of other stuff that's cheaper and better in my opinion. You know what I mean? It's good though. And it's also just one of those things where I don't hang out with them. They were friends of my friend. So by correlation you would think, oh, aren't they your friend of them? No, they're not my friend. I don't I don't I don't claim them as my people. Emo. No, I'm just kidding. Not like that. Um, I don't. No, they're not my. I don't claim them as my friends. But they would be like, "Let's go to Panda Express," and I'll be with my friend. And they're like, "Yo, you want to go to Panda Express?" I'm like, "I guess." I mean, I'd rather go home. But we would go, and then they're all like car people, and I'm like, "Well, I don't fit in here. I'm gonna go to Hot Topic." <laughs> but you know, it's just they. I feel like they might have ruined it for like the whole experience for me. Oh shit. But then again, no, as I said before, it's a little more overpriced for that kind of stuff. Anyways, Popeye's chicken sandwiches or Popeye, Louisiana, Pop, Pop, Louisiana, Popeye's, Popeye. Okay. Little Caesars. People like little, okay, I'm sorry, Josh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can feel it. I can feel it. He was, he's about to type out a message and being like, you better move that up there by the end of this video. No, it's Popeyes is. I'll give it eights here. Now, people could go on the argument. Mark has told me before, because I their chicken sandwich, the world hyped it up as the most amazing creation that God has ever given us. But that's not true. Um. And let me explain why. I when it comes to like meats, it would go beef. Fish, no, what am I saying? No, beef, pork, chicken, fish. No, beef, pork, fish, chicken. There you go. It so sits chicken at the very bottom. I don't like it too much. I'll eat it. But, like, if I have the other options, I'll have the other options. Now, the chicken sandwich is just a chicken sandwich. It wasn't anything, to me at least, it wasn't anything crazy. Now, Marcus put like, the argument out there before, well... How can you say it's not that good if you can't compare it to anything else? Well, of course, I can compare it to Pause, editor me stepping in because I can't compare it to something else, Mark. I could compare it to the spicy chicken sandwich from Jack in the Box's Munchie Meal. Those were better than the Popeye's chicken sandwich. You can't at me on this. You know it's true. Anything else? Because I don't eat Chick-fil-A. I don't eat what the church chickens. I don't really eat KFC that much. So... I can't, no, I guess by default, it's the greatest thing ever, but in my opinion, it's not that good. It's, I mean, it's not the greatest thing. It's good, but I'd rather have Sonic over it. I'd rather have Jack in a Box over it. You know what I mean? Like I was saying, Little Caesars, people don't like Little Caesars. They say, it's actually, have you ever had a Little Caesars deep dish pizza? Those things are amazing. I have brought one into work one time because I was starting early. And like, no, at Little Caesars on the way, I'll start, I'll, I'll drop by there. If I'm doing 12 hour shift, I might as well get like a little pizza. Just to like take to my, my desk area. And I just, oh shit. And I just eat and enjoy it. That thing did not make it throughout the day. I destroyed that thing so fast. Cause I'm like, these things, like, it's just like a little block of pizza and it's just so good. It's like, oh, Little Caesars is so good. I'm putting that in A tier. Not S tier, I'm putting it in A tier. Zaxby's, never been. Burger King, now this is something that Mark and I were talking about yesterday. Um, 
because we, we brought the argument and stuff like that and then it's not an argument right we brought the discussion um and it was like burger king is good on a normal day of work and depending on how hungry i am if i want a burger or if i want to talk about because they're both open when i get out of work i get out in the mornings i would i could drive to burger king get like seven rodeo burgers and hold on let me explain that real quick when I say seven rodeo burgers, I spelled that wrong. Burgers, Burger King. Let me explain. Okay. Rodeo burgers, Burger King. Let me explain what these are real quick. They're not big things. They're not a, a whopper. These aren't the best representations of them, actually. Can I see a picture of someone's hand next to it? That's not- that's a rodeo stacker, okay. I gotta burp. Okay, this is what it is. Okay, rodeo stackers. Okay, that's not- this isn't that. This isn't rodeo stacker. This is a very- It might be what the name is, actually. But, it's just a patty with barbecue sauce and onion rings. Boom. The tiny little thing, I could fit them like, like this. And like, one, two, three. Maybe four, depending on if I'm not as hungry as I think I am. And then done. I'm also a very fat boy on the inside. So maybe that's why eating four bites. Probably shouldn't be doing that. But they're not big things. I could down seven of these and think and be like, I kind of could go back right now if I'm being honest. But um, Burger King would be B tier if I'm being honest. If anything, I only ever go for rodeo burgers. And everything else they have there is... Just, eh? You know what I mean? Some probably loves Burger King. They're probably like, damn, Burger King, ride or die. They probably got like the emblem like tattooed on across their chest or something like that. It's crazy people out there like that. Um, Wendy's. Now, when I was a mere child, actually, ever since I was a child, I love chili. You know, chili beans, chili cheese fries, chili, chili like that. But as a Mexican, I, I gotta clarify what chili is because I could be like, Mexican, mojito, um, chili. I don't know. Mexican chili. Just look at Mexican chili. Let's go to Google search. Of course, this all comes up. Okay, did that guy really got to put salsa in there, or is it like can I just find it up here? No. Do you guys? Okay, so I'm pretty sure people have been to Mexican restaurants. I don't want chili, chili beans. Did I got to put chili salsa. Stuff like this. Like, oh, okay. Well, this looks kind of different. They're like... This isn't has that much, like, seeds in there. But, like, when my grandpa makes it, like, he would get these peppers. Boil them for a while and extract their essences. And then he'll get the mokajita and he'll just... No, I'm just kidding. We're not that, we're not that ancient. Um, no, he'll just put them in a blender. And then he'll, like, blend them up. Make it real... And it gets really good. It gets really hot. It's, like, right perfect balance of... I don't want to keep eating this because I'm going to die, but I'm, it's so good that I want to keep eating it. Like, you know the chili is good for the chile. You know it's good. I probably, it's probably why I should probably say that, like, chile instead of chili. It, but I'm, I'm white as shit. You know the chile is good when you start crying, your nose starts running, and it's so good that you're like, I don't want to stop eating this because it's so hot and so good. That's kind of say you know it's fire. Fun fact, I know my grandpa was making this because I, like, the, I'm on the second story, like, second floor of my house. Second story. And the kitchen's downstairs. Heat rises and so do fumes. So I know he's making that when I start waking up and dying. First two seconds of my life. You know, what are they, where was I going with this? Oh. Um. So with, like, chili and stuff like that. I like spicy stuff. When I, ever since I was a kid, I love that stuff. How did I get on the topic of that? Anyways, Wendy's has an option to get like a bowl of chili, right? It's not expensive, like two bucks probably. Um, a, a bowl of chili, right? I always order it whenever I go. I have to get it. Why? Because I've always get it as a kid. It's all I. Oh, they also have like spicy chicken nuggets, which is also kind of fire. Not hot, but it tastes good. Not too hot, but they have a little bit of spice, but it's not like anything crazy. Um, I'm gonna give Wendy's beats here. Mark, Mark loves Wendy's. He went off on a rant yesterday. He's like, 
Uh, cause I brought Wendy's and he was like, you know, like Wendy's. I'm like, it's all right. He's like, motherfucker, son of a bitch. Wendy's, I love Wendy's. Wendy's is hella good. You're a hater. I'm like, dog. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Uh, all right, now the next up on the list, Taco Bell. I'll get Taco Bell up there at Wendy's. Whenever I go, I get the same. Actually, that's a lie. It's, it would be, technically, I do get the same thing because everything on the menu is the same thing. It's rearranged in a different order. Um. Yeah, it's kind of. I mean, I usually get like the five layer beefy burrito, maybe a ch not chulula. What's it called? What's it called? Holy shit. Um, what's the thing they have? Uh, I do like this one. You guys are gonna know. It's gonna it'll cut to my head later. Chalupa. There we go. <laughs> uh, maybe get one of those. Maybe get some chips and nacho. All right, chips and cheese nachos. You know, and maybe like a. Maybe, you really got like a big party box of nachos? Those like, okay, hold on. This is this one, be like, one of the longest videos ever. Um, Taco Bell. It's called Party Box. Party Pack. Ooh. Nachos. Look at this real quick. This thing is a monster. Now people think this is like Thank you, Image, for loading up high quality. People think okay, Image, thank you for loading up. If people think like this is like isn't really uh, like it's not really that big. I love Jack in a Box or Talk about Nachos. I love nachos. I'm a fat ass. Mentally. I couldn't finish this. I got like three fourths of the way in and I'm like, I can't do it. I'm gonna die And my brother got it as well Cause he was really hungry He's like yo you wanna Get some Jack and Box and DoorDash I'm like sure He's like uh, he's like, have you had the party pack before I'm like yeah why He's like is it really big I'm like yeah why He's like I'm gonna get it I'm like dog Don't do it And he got it And he ate like three fourths of it And he's like I can't finish it <laughs> He's like this is the worst decision I ever made I'm like I told you They also have Baja Blast I, A fun little story Baja Blast they used to sell it in cans At uh, Walmart or the Walmart we have at least. I don't think have it for a while. I haven't actually been to Walmart in a while. I don't go anywhere. I only come home and play League after work. I feel like I'm making this video. My one video a month. <laughs> Next up, Subway. I'm gonna get Subway Beats here. As you can tell, Jack Box kind of just rains across everything. It's like the best place. I get Subway Beats here because it's just a sandwich. Jimmy John's, I guess, is just sandwiches as well, right? But... I'm gonna give you Subway Beats here because it's Subway. I mean, I've always it's always been around. It's if it's, if it, you can't go wrong with it, really. I mean, you can't go wrong with anything else like on this on the, in the B tier, but like it's 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 it's, it's really, come on. Five Guys F tier, Applebee's F tier. I'm just kidding. Let's go back to Five Guys real quick. Five Guys is gonna be A tier. I the reason why I did that because Josh loves Five Guys. He also loves Popeyes chicken sandwiches. But anyways. Five guys. I give it three and three point five out of five guys. Uh, what, what's the estimation point on my Twitch channel? Link in the description, by the way. Uh, I think it's estimation point five guys, or five one two. Um, it's good. There, I asked for like, I think it was like a large fry or a medium fry, and they gave me enough to last me like a winter. And their burger is like really greasy, like where they have to like double foil it and stuff like that. But it's good. It's a good burger. Um, I need to go there again. I've been really craving it and stuff. Aunt Annie's? Auntie Ans? Ease? We'll give it a C tier. It's alright. Chili's! D tier. Uh, I've always actually. Yeah, I'll go F tier. Why not? Chili's is D tier. I've been there like a couple times. It's, it's just Chili's. Now, Chipotle. This is also. We're going to get A tier. This is also something that Mark brought up. Because when we're talking about this, we have we talked we talked about this for quite a bit. Well, you know, after getting boba, because you know we're we're like that. I just want to clarify. I play league. I stream. I'm an e boy. I get boba. I am literally a full e boy now. <laughs> um. But. Mark said it's Chipotle fast food. I'm like, why did you think that? And he said because it doesn't have a drive through. And I'm like, well, you got me there. But then again, Five Guys, or at least the one we have here in my town, don't have, doesn't have one. So, um, I am considering fast food. And if I am, it's really good. Their tacos is actually really good. I actually get it, like, whenever... 95% of the time that I come in to work early for a 12-hour shift to cover for swing shift, I get Chipotle. I have it ordered to me. And... 
I remember I, I got a lot of tacos because I'm like, I'm going to be generous today. I'm going to order tacos for everybody here. And then I think, well, I get it usually hot, so I'm going to dumb it down because they're not going to be able to stand this type of heat. And I didn't think I got it as hot. But then our, the supervisor is like, man, you, this is what's good about Swing Shift because he used to be on Graveyard as well. He's like, you know, we could, you, know, you could do this because things are open. And I gave him his thing of tacos and he's like, these are kind of hot. I'm like, what? Are you just telling me these aren't that hot? Anyways, it's H. Dude, we're so much to go. I might have split this into two parts, if I'm being honest. Uh, we'll get to McDonald's and then we'll, we'll end this episode off. Because this gotta be two parts right here. Denny's. We'll give it B tier. Now, I said before we would go. We and my friends would go at two a.m. to get Denny's. A fun little story before. An old coworker of mine. He's, I don't work with him anymore, but he, you no, know, he called me one day, and he's like, "Yo, you trying to? I see. I can't tell this story, can I?" Well, the story is. I threw up in a Denny's bathroom. <laughs> I, I have told the story before on Twitch. You can't, you know, I, I don't stream that often. I need to stream, start streaming more. I need to stop playing League and start streaming. I need to be productive in my time. Domino's. Actually, hold on. Is, if Domino's is here, because, oh, it's not here. 2017 meet, Domino's every day. No, that's a lie. I would get Domino's every week on the same day. You might think this, that, that that's just a joke. It got to the point to where I ordered it one day, and it's just, it was the same delivery girl. She was kind of cute. I don't know. I don't get Domino's anymore. I don't think she works there anymore. Anyways, she I would get it every day, right? Or every Thursday. It would get to the point to where she showed up at my door one day with the pizza, and she's like, "Hey, want to know a funny thing?" I'm like, "Yeah, what? Like, what's up?" And she was like, "I didn't need to put your address in my GPS." I just saw where it was, and I instantly knew where to go, and I almost lost my shit. I was about- I was like... Why? <laughs> Have you ever- has that ever happened to anybody? I'm gonna post it on Twitter later. But has that ever happened to anybody to where... The delivery person just knows where you live because you order there so often. That's sad on our part, my part, but that's, that's impressive on their part because they know. It's also, uh, I don't have, I, yeah, I haven't ordered there anymore. Anyways, because of that, Domino's is A tier. Even though it's not me. It's not Pizza Guy's good. But Pizza Guy's apparently, I guess it's only in California, I guess. Or something like that. Anyways, CC's Pizza has never been. I might have actually been. Do we have one around here? CC's Pizza, uh, it's like it's not near me. The locations are, they have 397 locations. Okay, but where? What state is it in? Not, okay, so I know I No, I never had it before. Okay, yeah. Hardee's, Carl's Jr., S tier. Mark and I were talking about this yesterday. Carl's Jr. is one, is probably the best fast food place there is. It's great. Amazing. I love it. Now, going back to what I said about Panda Express earlier, Hardy's slash Carl's Jr. is very expensive. Not very expensive. It's decently expensive. It's more expensive than Jack in a Box. But you're going to get what, you know, your your deal. Now, a while back, they had something called, like, the Memphis Barbecue Thick Burger or something like that. I think that's what it was called. It was, like, you could get it, like, a quarter pound or a half pound. I think it was like that. And, no, and then, like, you know, of, of meat, right? And it would come, like, the meat onion strings and a whole bunch of other stuff that's the only important two things they love about the onion strings and that and it's like a big burger too and you get like a large side of fries and a large drink it was 10 bucks just to put that into perspective but it people were like 10 bucks for a burger fries and a drink why when i say it was just a big burger it was a big burger like this was worth your money this would fill you up like the first time trying them like i can't finish this second time trying it i can finish it third time trying it i need two now <laughs> this is an addiction Anyways, in and out, I'm getting this A tier. Now, to people outside of California, they're probably like, why is this guy from California putting in and out A tier? Because I had it so often that it's not special to me. Now, people outside of California or like outside the West Coast in Texas, I guess, will be like, in and out sounds amazing. 
it's amazing if you don't live here and I haven't had it every day of your life. I don't I, uh, that, that's metaphorically, right? I think that's the right word to use. Because, you no, know, because I, I have it. It's it's down the street, like five minutes away from me. I, if I, no, it's not special to me, but, but it's, so it's not Esther. KFC? All right, next stop. No, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry, Daddy. Uh, KFC is B tier. I love their famous bowls, but that's all I would really get from out there. I mean, every now, their mashed potatoes are pretty good. So are their mac and cheese. Their biscuits are good. I'm moving to A tier. <laughs> now, Buffalo Wild Wings, S tier. They have some amazing flavors. I love it. That's all I could say. If you haven't had Buffalo Wild Wings before, I'll give it a try. And then, this is going back to like, I don't like chicken too much. But I'll, I'll, any day of the week, I will get one of these if I could. Like, to the point where my friend would be like, we would set up, like, not, like, lunch dates. You know what I'm trying to say? Because I would work, what would I work? What did I work at this time? I think I worked on day shift for this shift. Right, on my current job. So this is, like, 2019 through midway 2020. I worked day shift, and then midway 2020 till now, I worked working in graveyard. Um... And if things play go good, I might go back to day shift pretty soon and add a new position if things go good. Um, maybe not. I don't know. Either way, I I work twelve days in a row. It shit sucks. If I'm being honest, I don't get days off. I think I don't record, or upload, or stream or anything like that. I only play league. Um, what about say? Oh yeah, we will set like lunch meetings. I'm not gonna call them dates because he's gonna he's get engaged. I can't say that. Um, but no, he'd like, you know, Buffalo Wild Wings, you know, 12 or 1 p.m. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, sure, let's go. And then we would go, get some food, boom, bing, bam. I get it, like, every other week, probably. Maybe, I, I, I eat it at least once a month. Chick-fil-A, A tier. Let me explain why. I gotta burp. I've had Chick-fil-A twice, ever. First time I've had it was me and my friend cliche and other friend um we went to get chick-fil-a one day and we ordered our food and then they gave us the food and we we're driving i gave them the bags and they were they're looking at the bags like we didn't order this i'm like what do you mean we didn't order this and they're like yeah this is this isn't our order and they looked at the receipt and everything on there is not what we ordered and so we, we you know, they had this weird thing like we pull around the other drive through and if someone's standing there to give you like napkin, I don't know, I don't know what they're standing there for, maybe tell you to have a good day. I don't want to suck as a job. And then we pulled up next to him like, hey, excuse me, um, this isn't our order. I think, you know, we, we, you know, we got the wrong one. And they're like, oh, we're so sorry. Um, we'll be right back. And then they went, in, they went in there and we pulled around the park in the, in the front of the, uh, the restaurant and they came out with our order. And we basically got two orders, our order and another, someone else's order, and we were able to keep the other order and just drive off. We essentially got two orders. We had, we had a lot of food. Like, when you say we had a lot of food, the whoever order we got had a lot of food, and we had a lot of food, as it is. And so we drove back to our friend's house, which was like a good 20 minutes, 30 minutes away. And the food wasn't as hot anymore. It was kind of warm, it was cold. So it wasn't as good. The second time we went, I liked it better. Panera bed, it's uh, it's we'll give it a C tier. It's not the greatest. It's neutral. I'll give it a D tier actually. Leo's barbecue, never had it before. Macros, never had it before. Long John Silver. Let me tell you a little bit of story about Long John Silver. I don't think we have one of these anymore around me. Sadly, Long John Silver. Long John Silvers. All right. We have one in Galt. The one in Stockton is not open anymore. I don't know why that's still here. In Sacramento. So significantly, significant way, ways away. If they have these things called Hush Puppies. Now, as a kid, I probably wasn't what their name was, actually. But as a kid, these were the greatest things ever i i mean i also love seafood and stuff like that and people could be like well it's not real seafood this this and that i'm gonna tell you right now as a kid i didn't care as an adult i want to try it but when you throw when you throw this plate at me no these fish 
fillet things, French fries, the a thing of hush puppies, and a bunch of bread crumbings at the bottom. Like, oh, mother, uh, why, dude? You want to make me fat or something? I love this shit so much. Like, oh, so good, dude. I love it. It's S tier, no doubt. Who, who can fight me on that? McDonald's? We'll give it. <laughs> McDonald's will be B tier. I would prefer everything else of an S and everything. Every, I would prefer everything over McDonald's, like an S and A. But McDonald's is still as good. Now we have a long ways to go, but we're also forty minutes into this recording, and I don't want to do any more edit. I don't want to do more editing. I have to. So this will be part one. We have a significant ways uh, thing ways to ways to go. Next episode probably be, won't be as long because it's not as much of things here that we have here, or that I've tried. But next episode, hopefully this episode could go out this week. I've been recording, so you, you guys can see. I'm recording this on the 17th. Hopefully it could go out this week. And then next week, I don't know. I'm going to try to keep these episodes very close together, though. Just keep an eye out for that. With that said, oh, shit, that works. Oh, you can see what I'm listening to on Spotify. I forgot. I also got to shave. So with that said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you didn't, why not leave a like? If you're new to the channel, why not subscribe for more content like this? <laughs> Once a month, we upload. Um, I apologize for not uploading a lot. I play League a lot. Um, it's a bad habit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish I had friends to play League with, dude. Because then, you know, I'm, cause I, I'm just sitting here by myself 90% of my day after work. And just like, okay, well, here we go. Oh, look at that guy's shit. I, I'm, I'm not that great. Anyways, I'm getting out of here. I'm Faith Kais, Order Master Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.